Since 1982, the West Florida Genealogical Society has been bringing people together who are interested in genealogy and family history through programs, workshops, and other activities. Here to tell us more about the society is President Bruce Rova. Bruce, thanks for being here. It's another beautiful day to be in Pensacola. Boy, it is. This is a great place to be. Um, yeah. It really is. Well, let's, um, since the West Florida Genealogical Society is obviously about history, tell us a little bit about the history of the organization, if you don't mind, before we get started. Well, I've, I've only been part of it since 2003, but uh, it's been around for nearly 40 years. Um, started by some folks in 18, uh, 1982. And uh, it just came about from some newspaper articles that, about genealogy uh, that kind of piqued the interest of local folks. And finally somebody said, why don't we get a group together? Uh, when they did, they found that there was a lot of interest. They had, I think, close to 100 people the first time that they had, mm. had tried uh, putting together the organization. And it's been going strong um, ever since, building and building, and now with the uh, Pensacola Public Library mm -hmm. inviting us to join in with them in running the genealogy library on 9th Avenue. Um, we're really coming of age, so to speak. Well, that's a, that's a great facility there. Tell us a little bit about uh, what all that library has to offer the community. I know a lot of people may not have been there yet. It's a, a new facility for us. Uh, we used to be just a corner little office kind of down in the uh, upstairs, you know, packed away in the back um, at the downtown library. But when the Tryon Library got its new facility because it was expanding so much, um, they wanted to continue this building at the PJC campus as a library. And they decided at that point to move the talking library and the genealogy and local history sections of the downtown library to there. They gave us all the room to, re to uh, put out research facilities, tables. We have uh, computers that are designated strictly for genealogical research and have databases for genealogy on them. We've got uh, um, about five, uh, four or five story or drawer high. Uh, file cabinets for surnames, surname files, and, and uh, vertical files on cemetery history. We have uh, another one on um, a Native American section. We've got uh, plenty of uh, books on the Civil War, and uh, we, we have all of state and county books from virtually every state and several countries. Great. Well, I know on your website it talked about that the group promotes research. Exactly how do you promote that research? and do you help people who come to do research on their own? Tell us a little bit about how, what your involvement or the society's involvement in that research process. At the know. library, uh, we do have volunteers. We give about 300 hours of volunteer time per week to the library and to the public. Um, we don't usually do the research for the mm -hmm. person. Sure. We'll work alongside sure. them, helping them learn how to use the library version of uh, HeritageQuest or Ancestry.com or some of the other databases that we have. Uh, we'll, we'll show them how to use the microfilm and microfish. Um, we'll show them where the surname files are and how to find things in them and um, get them into the book section so that they can find the counties that they are looking for information from. Um, and, and we're av available pretty much the whole time that the library is open. That's from That's 10 to 6 on Tuesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. Now, do all your members participate in the volunteering, or are they there more to learn? Tell us a little bit about, about the group itself and what uh, the members actually um, get sure. out of being a part of the society. We have a, a couple of dozen uh, members who are the volunteers at the library. But we have almost 200 members, or at the end of 2010, we had right at 200 members. Um, membership is easy to obtain. You can come to our meetings. Uh, we meet every uh, first Saturday of the month at the WFGL, the West Florida Genealogy Library, 5740 North 9th Avenue. We meet at 10 o'clock. It normally takes until about 11.30 uh, before uh, we're finished. Uh, that includes about a 20-minute business meeting and then about one hour of, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of mm -hmm. an educational program. 
Uh, that program uh, could be something like what we had in January, which uh, brought out a, a resource that people tend to forget about, a thing called the Percy. It's a publication, a periodical source mm -hmm. uh, resource index, and uh, one of the local members who's been researching many, many years uh, gave a really informative speech on that. Uh, it could be the really fine dem or, uh, poor PowerPoint presentation that we had in February at the meeting by Jerry Merritt, another one of our members who's an accomplished uh, researcher. Uh, he did it on how to find your ancestors on the internet, one of the subjects that you know, is of most interest to mm -hmm. the current folks doing genealogy. Uh, this month for March, we've got the uh, one of our older uh, members, Dot Brown, who used mm -hmm. to actually write some newspapers. I think she called it Dotted Eyes or something mm -hmm. like that in the uh, uh, Pensacola News Journal on genealogy. She's going to give one uh, called uh, um, How to Live Forever, and it's uh, to help people that might be looking for you later on, what are some of the things that you can do? That's very know, interesting. And, and, and somebody who's not a member might still want to come and... Sure, and, sure. Uh, and so and, these presentations are open to non-members as well? Oh, absolutely. It's the first Saturday of every month, 10 o'clock, at the West Florida Genealogy Library. Our doors open at 9, actually. We try to get the coffee made by about 9.15 so people can have some coffee and donuts and, mm -hmm. and uh, get to know the other members or get to know mm -hmm. people that might be working on the similar uh, research. And if you have a problem that you've run into a brick wall on, on your stuff, come in and, and discuss it with other members, and they may have ideas what, on what how to What do you have coming it. up in April? I believe that there's uh, uh, something coming April up. April is a was, special one. As, We've got a Family History Assistance Day, or we call it uh, How to Find Out Who You Are. Um, it's based kind of on the idea of the television show that... Uh, has the celebrities finding right, out what right, their backgrounds exactly, are. Exactly. And we invite people who have not done their genealogies yet or might just be trying to get started to bring the information that they have. They need to, to bring the basic information in order for us to help them. But we'll have about uh, 30 or 40 of our members who are all uh, people that have done research and have an idea how to get started and, and uh, go forward. And we'll set up tables. Uh, We'll have uh, probably 15 people with computers and printers that can mm -hmm. help them work with databases. We'll have some basic, basic forms, pedigree sheets, and so on. Uh, we'll have folks that'll sit down and help them organize the records that they bring in so that they can start finding mm -hmm. out how to organize their data and, and go forward from uh, where they may be at this particular point. Well, that's great information. I know a lot of people are really interested in this now, and it does preserve that heritage. Uh, right before we go, if you would just remind everybody a phone number where they might get some more information, if you well, mind. Four nine four seven three seven three is the phone number at the West Florida Genealogy Library. It answers Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Um, folks that are interested are welcome to come to our meetings. They're free, uh, open to the public. Uh, we do do a conference once a year with a nationally known uh, person. Mm -hmm as an educational uh, workshop, and that'll be coming up this year in November, the first okay. Saturday uh, in November. And okay. if I can, just at this one point, I'd like to tell the public that- We're just about out of time, but right. you squeeze quick, something here real um, quick. Folks who have uh, relatives who have done genealogy, and if their estate uh, doesn't know what to do with those genealogical records, mm -hmm. we would encourage them to contact us. You know, we've taken in some wonderful genealogical collections of local folks. Just recently, we had one that added about 50 books to our collection and also a lot of surname information that are going into our surname files. If Great. someone has that problem of not knowing what to do with their ancestors' uh, research, come talk to us. We'll help them preserve it. Perfect tip for ending. And thank you so much for being here. It's great news. Thank you. Thank you.